welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Kitty. It's very nice to see you and very nice to meet you. Um, find a spot on my rainbow. There's a spot to sit down, very get, you know, very comfortable. Have a seat. You know, chill out. This, it's all good. Um, I have Ditto with me today because, you know, I figured I'd give Sophia a little bit of a break considering all the circumstances around. This is my little Ditto. And I think Ditto's adorable. Um, besides, it's one of my favorite words. It's one of the reasons why I have a Ditto uh, is because I say it a lot. Um, I picked it up from the um, Adams Family movie. Never heard of it before that. And then once I heard it, I thought, oh, you know what? That works for a lot of things. And I guess it just became one of my favorite words. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, trying to make it through the month. Oof. Got lots of stuff to do. Um, but I had been thinking about some things, and I thought, you know, there's a lot of words and phrases that I've picked up and I use, uh, since I arrived in England. 2011, I got here, and there were a whole, whole slew of new words. I'd never heard of and I thought hmm okay so I listened and I tried and my partner would show me these uh, comedians on TV and um, normally I like to think that I'm insightful and I can pick up on things but oh boy there were a lot of things that I just I had no idea about cultural references about people I'd never even heard of so I kind of dove into English culture and the UK culture as a whole and just out of curiosity decided to find out well okay who is this person that you know this guy was talking about and uh, okay who's that person um, and you know uh, in the process I found quite a few interesting people uh, all across the UK so it turned out to be a really good thing um, but it's been um, it's been entertaining, you know? And so, uh, one of the first words that I learned was, uh, barmy. Um, and I learned that because, uh, well, when you're from Texas, um, they teach you to be very friendly on the surface. Uh, so it's not uncommon to be driving down the highway and you see a perfectly, you know, new strange person and you would wave at them in your truck as you pass by them it's just a friendly gesture uh, and nobody thinks twice about it well don't do that here um, not that I was driving and waving at strange people but you know I would try to strike up a conversation with a new person and um, my partner would look at me and be like don't do that I'm like why and she's like, well, um, for one, they're going to think you're barmy. I'm like, oh, does that mean what I think it means? And, you know, she'd look at me and I'm like, crazy? And she's like, mm-hmm. I'm like, well, why is that? And, yeah, I had to learn some new uh, etiquette, some new uh, social, um, socially acceptable behavior. Let's put it that way. Uh, because, you know, it used to be that I would, like, find something about a person and comment on it in order to strike up, you know, a, a conversation that usually led to a potential friendship. And that was usually a pretty cool thing. Not anymore. Don't do that anymore. Um, <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, another uh, couple of words, or a phrase. Now, these are, like, words and phrases that I've picked up and I use. Uh, chin wag it is adorable. I love it because you know I do a lot of chin wagging anyway. <laughs> uh, so that was really um, applicable, and I thought, okay, that's a that's a cool phrase. I'll use that. And um, the one that I absolutely fell in love with is chuffed. It's so cute. You know, like I get really excited about something, and I'm like, I'm so freaking chuffed. <laughs> And it, I don't know, it just, it makes me smile. It's, it's really cute. And, um, so that's definitely another word I picked up. And if I were to use it over in America, people would just give me a blank stare and like, uh-huh, okay. 
what does that mean? I have no idea. You know? <laughs> Um, let's see, Wrap My Head Around It. Love that one. And I picked that one up directly from Gaia. Uh, she says that a few times. And I just thought, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, because there are a lot of things that you just, you hear on an everyday basis. And you're thinking to yourself, huh? Like, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense. I like it. So, borrowed used mine I'm gonna I'm gonna use it uh, let's see um, let's see oh yeah um, I'm getting really wound up or there's another way of course they are really winding me up or they're run really winding that person up it, it's really great because again it makes perfect sense because when you're upsetting someone you're winding them up you're making them more and more upset and eventually they're going to be set off which is what you do with a wind-up toy anyway makes perfect sense to me so good job you know I like it good use of words uh, okay I have I have a couple more uh, let's see you know this one I laughed when I heard it the first time because I thought okay um, he or she or they look really cheesed off or I'm really cheesed off it means you're mad <laughs> and I love it it's so cute um, usually when you're in America you'll say oh my god I'm so pissed off and um here pissed is used in a totally different way I mean I know some people will understand you know when you say you're pissed off they understand that it means you're mad but it's not the most common use of the word. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm always up for correction, you guys. You know that. Um, but yeah, because we, we have a saying that, that uses cheese in its, uh, in its phraseology and it's, it's called uh, the, the cheese slid off the cracker. And it just means they've lost the plot. They've gone crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that, that always comes to mind, but, um, yeah, you know, you're getting kind of cheesed off, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. I, I've always been fascinated with words. Uh, sometimes I try to input, um, a word from a foreign language into a regular sentence in order to try to utilize it, just so I don't forget it. Uh, because I do know some French, I know a little bit of Italian, uh, well, Sicilian, excuse me. Don't mix those two. They get mad. Uh, I made that boo-boo. Bad boo-boo. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, let's see. Um, and, of course, the last one. Stop taking the piss. You know, it's like, stop screwing around, basically. And, you know, I, I can get behind that. Because there are an awful lot of people that have nothing better to do but take the piss out of things that you care about. Or just something that you're trying to do for other people and they just, again, insert phrase, taking the piss. It's fabulous. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to how many more like words and phrases that I could possibly learn. Because exciting. Um, you know, uh, there's just so much to learn in this world and I've always been um, very but I've always been very happy to be that student the one that is you know happy to learn new things that is um, uh, you know just to be on the receiving end of knowledge and accept that everything that I know could potentially be wrong that's how I want to live my life, honestly, because in the grand scheme of things, I don't really know if what I know is the correct thing. So I'm constantly in a flux state of doing research and looking up things and finding out more. And it's exciting, you know, it's always been exciting to go read and uh, find new perspectives because in any given subject, you will always have another way of looking at things. And I just, 
I've noticed that a lot of people back where I'm from uh, seem to be losing that ability. And I don't know if, I don't think it's permanent, but they just can't seem to talk to one another anymore. Uh, it's either you're with us or you're against us. It's a very angry place, you know? And I just hope that in time, the words that they use, they can navigate through and find a way to talk to one another again. I really do hope that. And admit that they're wrong or, you know, that they could stand to learn some more. And I think things would be a lot better for everyone, you know? Um, case in point, I'm just going to point this one thing out. When you are asking your citizens to not use any water or hardly any water because you need that water supply in order to purify oxygen because you're running out of beds in all the hospitals in your entire state and you just dig in deeper and tell people you know what don't wear masks vaccines are bad and you have the highest infection rate in the entire United States that's bad. What's worse is when you have individual school districts who are arguing against it and defy that law and say, no, we're going to wear masks. We're going to encourage vaccines because we don't want to encourage this disease to spread. And then the governor of that state says, well, you know what? I'm not going to pay you your salary. That's how I'm going to punish you for being logical during a pandemic. That's the kind of crazy, you know, and it's a lack of communication and acceptance of the fact that, you know what, the governor might be wrong. He doesn't want to admit it. And it's costing lives. And that's crazy, right? Just crazy. So, yeah, here's hoping that com conversations can uh, continue, flourish, and get better. Because I sincerely hope so for everybody's sake. I really, really do. Um, and I hope everybody out there is looking after themselves. And just be cautious, you know. Don't do anything that's risking your life or people that you love. Be careful, okay? Because I'd really like to, you know, keep having conversations with you and learning from you and maybe, you know, pick up a couple of friends along the way. So it was really great catching up with you guys again. I'm going to try to put out more content again because I have another idea in my head. So uh, here's to another one. And um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please, 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 please go down and subscribe and sign up for all the updates. Uh, because I just learned that if you don't, you don't actually get to see all of my content, which is really weird. So uh, just, you know, sign and check all the little boxes and say yes, please, because that would really help. And uh, I would be internally grateful for that. So I'm watching my numbers go up very slowly, and I'm happy, and I have no problem with that. And I wish every single one of you the best in life. And I love you, and thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Take care. Mwah.